Hey robot makers, do you want to know how to use a potentiometer with a Raspberry Pi Pico or MicroPython? Then keep watching. We're going to build a very simple circuit to read in analog values from a potentiometer and then read those in as values into our Raspberry Pi Pico. Once we've read those values in, we can then convert it to a percentage so that we can do some more things with it, so we can set the value of an LED. So our potentiometer has three legs. We have a ground, we have a voltage in, and we have the voltage out. And the voltage out is where we read the analog values into the Raspberry Pi Pico. So to wire up the potentiometer, we only need to connect the voltage to the 3.3 output on the Raspberry Pi Pico, the voltage output to one of the ADC pins, we're using pin 26 here, and the ground just goes to one of the Raspberry Pi Pico's ground pins. In MicroPython, the code is very simple. We simply bring in from machine ADC, which is the analog to digital converter. We're then going to set a variable called pot to the ADC pin 26 on the Pico. And that's one of the special pins that's designed for converting analog values into digital. And then we've got a simple loop here that says while true, print the value is, and then from that pot variable, which is the ADC converter, we're going to read in an unsigned 16-bit integer, which just means a number. So let's run this code and see what happens. So we're running the code. And we can see there we're getting values of around 300 and something. So if I twist the pot and increase that in value, I can see there that the number is going higher. And if I turn it all the way to the right, as far as it'll go, we get 65,535. And as I scroll back down to the left, the minimum value, we get again around that 304, 288 value. It never quite goes down to zero. And that's just the behavior of this particular potentiometer. We're now going to bring an LED into our project and we're simply going to bring in a couple of extra things into this code to make it work. So we're going to bring in the pin and we're going to bring in the pulse width modulation from the machine library. So we've created a new variable there called LED and that's a pulse width modulation pin and that's on pin 15. And we're going to set the frequency there, the refresh frequency of the LED to 1000. And then in our loop, we're simply going to say the LED duty, which is the duty cycle, which is an unsigned 16 bit variable, which just happens to be the same as what we're outputting from our pot because that's a an unsigned 16 bit variable as well. Well, so if we run this code now and see what happens. As I turn this knob here, you can see that the LED is getting brighter and brighter. And then as I turn it down to the left, you can see that it's getting dimmer and dimmer. The LED never actually goes to zero there and the value of the potentiometer never goes to zero. So to add the LED to our project, we simply need to add the long leg of the LED to pin 15 on the Pico and the short leg to one of the grounds. I'm using pin 38 on the Pico there. <laughs> The third program we're going to try here is we're going to change the value of the LED but based on a percentage rather than the actual value coming for the potentiometer. So we've got a new map function here and what that will do is it'll map two ranges together. So if we've got a value, a minimum and a maximum of our potentiometer, so around 300 to 65,000 and then we've got the percentage from 0 to 100. It's going to take in those two values, map them together, we're going to pass it a value from the potentiometer range and it's going to output a percentage of that. But we could actually use any range of numbers in this function and then what we're then going to do is we're going to create a new variable that's called percentage we're going to map the value from the pot which we've read in there we're going to pass in the minimum value that that can be so from 288 ish to 65,535 as the maximum pot value and then from 0 to 100 percent what percentage will be is the percentage of that pot value we're then going to map the LED value based on that percentage so from 0 to 100 percent and then now we're going to change from 0 to 65,535 so we'll see if that makes any difference to the brightness of our LED. We're then going to print out what the percentage is, what the raw pot value is, and what the new LED value is. And then we're going to set the LED to that new value. So let's see what happens there when we run this code. So as I turn that, you can see the LED is getting brighter. You can see that the value is changing on the very right hand side to 65,535. And the value on the left says 100%. And then if I move this right back down again, so we're at about 50% there. And then let's move it right back down to zero. So percentage is now zero. The LED output value is zero, but we can see the LED still on interestingly, but the raw value that's coming out there is around 288, 304, which is the minimum range of that potentiometer. So if you enjoyed this video about potentiometers and you'd like to know when more videos are gonna come out, why not hit the subscribe button and then you'll get notified when new videos come out. And if you'd like to leave a like as well and a comment that can also help me understand which videos are good and which videos you want more of. 
and I'll see you next time.